Hi guys, hope you're going well today. So I wanted to chat about a foreign feature film which recently crossed my radar. This is the film Wajda from 2012. So a couple of weeks ago I was on a long haul flight and I was going through the in-flight entertainment and came across this film Wajda. And there were two things which immediately caught my attention. The first being that it, it is a film from Saudi Arabia and I have never seen a film from Saudi Arabia before so I was immediately very very curious. The second thing which got my attention is that it is by a female director. So not only is this the first feature film shot entirely in Saudi Arabia, it is also by a female filmmaker. And I also was reading some articles later on after I watched the film and was seeing the story of this female filmmaker and how she, when she was doing directing on the streets of the capital city of Saudi Arabia she had to be in a van and segregated from the rest of the crew because you know they have male female segregation and she couldn't talk with any of the male members of the crew of her film so often she was directing via walkie-talkie from the back of a van totally secluded so she couldn't interact freely and I just think that that is an absolutely astounding story the fact that she was able to achieve this incredible feature film and break incredible ground with a movie like this and she had those kinds of restrictions. It opened my eyes and showed me a little slice of Saudi Arabian culture, something that I wouldn't ever normally have access to it. And it did it in not just a documentary type style, this is a narrative feature film, so it is evocative, emotive, it is painting this artistic portrait of a culture, of a people, and of the characters in this movie. The film is told through eyes of 11 year old Wajda. Now she is not held back by the traditions, the historical traditions of her culture. She is of a new and modern generation of young Saudi people growing up, straddling that modern world, the world of popular music and television, yet also having all those historical traditions ingrained through hundreds and hundreds of years. So Wajda is still a child and she still sees things in a naive sort of way. She sees the boys playing on the street and being free to come to go, come and go as they please and being treated with you know a lot more respect than the women of her community. She sees uh, her neighboring, uh, her local neighbor, a young boy who has bi her bicycle and rides around the street freely with his mates on his bike. And she dreams of owning her own bicycle. And of course, this is a cultural taboo for women to ride bicycles. There is a stigma against it that women who ride bicycles are infertile and can't bear children. Wajda, she can dream, she can yearn, she can hope because that's what happens because she's a child. And so we follow her personal struggle as she decides that she wants this bicycle no matter what the cost and if her parents aren't going to support her and buy it for her and no one else, everyone else is going to laugh at the fact that she wants this bicycle, you know what, she's going to save up for it herself and she's going to buy it with her own money. We also get to see a lot of the home environment, uh, the relationship she has with her mother and also her father who comes and goes within the household. He doesn't live in the house uh, because the house is for her and her mother. In fact, he lives with his own family and is in the process of seeking out a second wife because his first wife, which is Wajda's mother, isn't able to bear any more children for him. So he is being influenced by his family to seek out a second wife in order to, the ultimate goal being to father a son. So there is all these cultural things like running underneath this story. This film is a couple of years old now. It has been doing the festival circuit and winning a bunch of awards. It won an award earlier this year at the Palm Springs International Film Festival for director to watch category. So this female filmmaker Haifa Al Mansour is her name and she's been getting a lot of attention for this absolutely you know marvelous film uh, which I think is very much well deserved. And 
and yeah, she certainly is a director to watch. I can't wait to see what she's going to do next. This film, I do believe, has already gotten a DVD release, so it is out there. They're my thoughts on the foreign film Wajda. I highly recommend you giving it a go and checking it out. It is really beautifully told and subtly done. A really beautiful story. Make sure you leave me comments in the comment section down below, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye!